Hi, I'm John Fitzgerald and welcome to this week's edition of Team Wealth Builders. What an amazing time. We have an election called and interest rates now being cut to the lowest levels in our lifetime. At the same time, we have Sydney auction clearance rates at record high levels at over 80%. And my focus, my dashboard, is just on what's going on in Sydney at the moment because I realise Sydney historically always leads the country. And this is so prolific, so important for us. Because Sydney now, its median has been recorded by Residex, has gone through the $700,000 benchmark. And why that's important is it'll be dragging up Melbourne and dragging up Brisbane. Melbourne, in fact, in the last quarter had the highest growth of all the capital cities. That's phenomenal. Brisbane just starting its growth and always a little bit later. And let me talk to you about Sydney because Sydney's important. Sydney reached or went through in the last boom, it went from 200, circa 200 and something thousand to over 500,000 from about 98 to 2003. But it was still 500,000 in 2011 or in the 500,000s, only grew by a small percentage. And what that means is, it was eight years where Sydney was pretty much stuck, property prices were stuck. And that was really the downturn and the, the, the massive effect of the GFC and the mining boom really hit Sydney hard because it sucked a lot of the employment out of Sydney and redistributed it in the mining areas. At the same time we had a financial crisis where Sydney is a financial hub and continually you know, there was redundancies made, jobs, losses, etc., etc. A basket case. Well, today, Sydney's back with a vengeance because it's risen from 550,000 thereabouts in 2011 to now 2013 hitting $700,000. Amazing. And Melbourne is following, Brisbane will follow, Perth is also booming. And what's great about this is the Reserve Bank and the government have reduced, have, have worked on the economy and both sides of the government saying we need to get it going. We need to get confidence back and most importantly, we need to get growth. So they're promoting growth at the same time, property is the most affordable we've ever seen. Ever seen. You cannot get a better interest rate than what you're going to get today. And how's this? They're talking about reducing interest rates even more because they say they still feel the Australian dollar is too high. So it really is an amazing time. But there's a lot of us, and I'm one of them, where I've got a lot of assets, particularly in southeast Queensland, where my prices have been depressed. So I'm struggling to get equity and I need to get that growth before I can actually use to duplicate. What I'm looking to do is find a way into the other states, which I'm doing, find a way into, into the other states using whatever equity I can get out of my Queensland property because I realise that historically, Queensland or South East Queensland will follow Sydney and Melbourne. Those markets will rise and then Brisbane will rise. And we've got to be really astute in doing this and really definitive in doing this as well. The market's moving, there's growth around the world. The US has gone up by 12%. Their housing market has gone up by 12% year on year in the last year. And now we're really starting to bubble along. So it really is an amazing time. And the big thing, getting back to Sydney, they've created more than 60,000 jobs in the last year. And that's phenomenal. So I switch on. We really have a changing dynamic where now everyone's getting behind pushing growth. We're in the asset business. Our assets are about to grow and we've got an opportunity to acquire more and use that growth to acquire more whilst we have record low interest rates. I think that's a great opportunity. Thanks for listening to me.